Okay, everyone, let's continue looking at Module 00102, Introduction to Construction Math and NCCR Core Curriculum. This will be Section 6.00, Introduction to Geometry. Here are some trade terms you should read over and become familiar with for this session. Angles. A right angle is neither obtuse nor acute. Adjacent and opposite angles are two or more angles together. Note that the combined angles of the triangles are equal to 180 degrees, not 360 degrees. Diagonals create two equal right triangles in each of these shapes. However, with a square, each of the other two angles in each triangle will be exactly 45 degrees. With a rectangle, these angles depend on the rectangle's length, but they will not be 45 degrees unless it is a square. Understanding triangles is extremely important for pipe fitters and workers in numerous other crafts. These circles characteristics are required in many circle-related calculations. Common area units. One square inch equals one inch times one inch equals one square inch. One, squ one square foot is one foot times one foot is one square foot. A square yard is one yard times one yard equals a square yard. A square centimeter is a centimeter times a centimeter equals a square centimeter. And a square meter is a meter times a meter equals a square meter. Common area formulas. The area of a rectangle equals the length times the width. The area of a square is also length times width. The area of a circle is pi times radius squared. In this formula, you must use the mathematical constant of pi, which is an approximate value of 3.14. You multiply pi times the radius of the circle squared or multiply it times itself. The area of a rectangle is also one-half times base times height. Volume of three-dimensional shapes. Common volume formulas. One cubic inch is one inch times one inch times one inch equals one cubic inch. Cubic foot is one foot times one foot times one foot equals a cubic foot. Cubic yard. One yard times one yard times one yard is one cubic yard. Cubic centimeter. One centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter equals a cubic centimeter. A cubic meter. 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter equals a cubic meter. For three-dimensional rectangles, like the volume of a slab, step 1, you would convert inches to feet. Step 2, multiply length times width times depth. Step 3, convert cubic feet to cubic yards. Cylinders, the volume of the cylinder is pi times radius squared times height. First, calculate the area of the circle using pi times radius squared. Since the diameter is 22 feet, the radius will be 11 feet, half the diameter. The area of a circle equals 3.14 times 11 squared equals 379.94 square feet. Then calculate the volume, area times height. 379.94 square feet times 10 feet equals 3,799.4 cubic feet. If necessary, convert cubic feet to cubic yards. Triangular prisms. The volume of triangular prism is half times base times height times depth or the thickness. Step 1, calculate the area of the flat triangle first. Step 2, then calculate the volume of the prism by adding the factor of depth. And here are some review questions for this section. An angle of 105 degrees is right angle, straight angle, obtuse angle, or acute angle. That would be an obtuse angle. The distance around the outside of a closed shape, such as a rectangle, circle, square, or any other regular shape, is the perimeter, circumference, vertex, or diameter. That would be the perimeter. Calculate the area of a rectangle that is 15.6 meters by 22.3 meters. Would that be 75.8 cubic meters, 75.8 squared meters, 347.88 square meters or 347.88 cubic meters. And that would be 347.88 square meters. Calculate the volume of a shipping container that is 32 foot long, 11 foot wide, and 2 foot deep. Well, that would be 704 square foot, 704 cubic meters, 352 cubic feet, or 320 cu square feet. And that would be 704 cubic feet. 
the volume for the formula for finding the circumference of pi, 3.14 times radius, area, diameter, or radius times 3. It's going to be diameter. All right, everyone, that was it for that section. Next will be reviewing for the test. We'll do that in the classroom, and I'll see you there.